Hi guys, I'm back with part two, which will be my five most used bags. If you watch part one of this video, I showed you my five favorite bags in my collection. And so with this video, you'll see what I actually use, and then we can compare how many of those bags that are my most favorite, meaning I love to look at them, they make me feel incredible, they're sort of showstoppers, but how many of those bags are the ones that I reach for on a weekly basis. So I'll preface this to say that my most used bags are essentially work bags for one and then run around weekend bags the other. And so most of my favorite bags are essentially bags that I wear to dinner, wear shopping. And because I don't go shopping or go to dinner every weekend, sometimes those bags just don't get used. Again, I have a very small collection, so none of those bags are going anywhere, but these are the bags that I use daily for work or just about every weekend to run around with. My first bag is the Henry Bendel Jet Setter in full leather. It's black with gold hardware. It's a convertible backpack, but I only use it as a backpack. It is extremely functional. I love carrying it. People ask me all the time about this bag. As you know, Henry Bendel closed, so this bag is really special. If anything happened to it, I would have to get it on the pre-loved market. I believe the retail price for this bag was $498. I paid $111 just about, and I think that was an incredible deal. It's an incredible bag. I wore it for three months straight, five days a week. I have a little Henry Bendel charm on it. And even though this bag is maybe six or seven months old, it's already one of my most used bags. So my next most used bag is the Longchamp Le Pliage bag. Right after I switched out of the Henry Bendel Jet Setter, I switched into this bag and used it for about a month. I've had this bag for about four years. I'll be honest, I have shredded this bag. It is not in good condition, but I plan to use it until the handles fall off. There are, are holes in just about every corner. It is what it is. It's a very functional bag. I don't find it to be particularly attractive, but it's really good in the dead of winter or in a particularly rainy part of spring. So I am definitely keeping it around, but not a favorite bag, but very much one of my most used. So right after I switched out of the Longchamp Le Pliage, I switched into this bag, which is my Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the MM size in the monogram canvas. I love this bag. It's extremely functional. I toss everything in it. It doesn't have a zipper, so if the weather is bad, water definitely gets inside. The handles are really dark brown, which I know a lot of people don't love, but it is what it is. It's a characteristic of this bag. I have a little Henry Bendel bag charm on it, and it's extremely functional. I don't have too much to say about this bag. It's a Neverfull. You probably have it, or someone you know probably has it. I'm counting this as one bag, but I would say my other Neverfull in Damier Aben gets equal amounts of use. So I'd say the Neverfulls in general are on my list of most used bags for sure. So my fourth most used bag is the Louis Vuitton Bloomsbury bag. Now I know that this is not the most popular bag on YouTube, they still make it, and it is extremely comfortable. I bought this bag, I think six years ago, at that time, I really wasn't into monogram canvas, and this was one of the few mid-size crossbody bags that came in the Damier Aben print. So there were a couple years where I did not live in New York City, and so everywhere I went was in a car, and I didn't get that much use out of this bag at first, and I thought about selling it. I thought it was pretty pointless. I didn't use it that often. 
But the minute I moved back to New York City, this came in so handy because there are times when it is pouring rain where I don't want to take out my Louis Vuitton pochette Matisse and risk getting rain spots all over the pochette. So this bag is also a lot roomier than the pochette Matisse. So I just love it so much and I'm so glad I did not sell it. And the canvas is stiffer than my newer model pochette Matisse. So if you don't care about hype and what's the most popular, especially if you're a mom or really just in general enjoy crossbody bags, this is a really great not so flashy option. And on the weekends when I have to go to swim lessons and ballet classes and the park, this is my go-to bag. And that is why it is one of my most used bags. Now that brings us to our final bag. And finally, one of the bags from my favorite bags has actually made it to my most used bags. It is none other than the Pochette Matisse. So this bag, like the Bloomsbury, is a great weekend runaround bag for me. I don't take this bag if it's pouring rain or if I need a little bit more room in a crossbody, then I'll use the Bloomsbury, but otherwise this is my go-to. So it gets a ton of use. I was so happy that Louis Vuitton recalled their Pochette Matisse, which enabled me to get a brand new bag since my other one was in horrible condition. I wish I had taken some video of that bag before I took it in. But in any case, it's interesting that this is my only bag that's one of my favorites that's also my most used. So I know there were some people that chose to get other bags instead of getting a new Pochette Matisse when some of these were recalled. That was not even a thought in my mind. My Louis Vuitton did not offer that, but well, even if they did, I just wanted my bag back because honestly, I could not imagine my collection without this bag. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video of my five most used bags. When I made my list of my most favorite versus my most used, I was kind of surprised, but it makes most sense. I think my favorite bags are my most aesthetically pleasing bags. They're the bags that make me feel the best when carrying them. And they are also the bags that are prominently displayed in my bag cabinet. While my most used bags, with the exception of my Pochette Matisse, none of them are on display. They're just incredibly functional bags that I get a ton of use out of. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know if you have any questions about any of the bags and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.